race went? Was it about what you expected? Um, the race was, um, I just knew that I had to go. Like, no thinking, no nothing, just trust myself. I already prayed about it. Just go ahead on and go. <laughs> Yeah, I've been running out front since I can remember. <laughs> just more comfortable, just going as hard as you can. Yeah, and um, just not being running from the front prevents being boxed in, tripping, you know, like around that. So I don't know how, but I guess my coach just got me a long time ago to run from the front, and ever since then I've been running from the front. Did you run from the front internationally last year? Yes. Yeah. I ran from the front as well, and I learned a lot of things that can help me this year as well. Um, I just had to not feel sorry for myself and go ahead. You know, there's going to be those parts or those meets that teach you, and you got to learn from it. And I just learned from that meet and took it and went with it. You got a pretty good challenge there on the back straight. Did you feel it coming? Yeah, and without the help of the um, the video clock, I just had to go with my instinct. And I knew that she had a good finish, good 200. So I was like, okay, I got to go before it gets too late. Mm -hmm. So you didn't know how close she got to No, but then at the little snippet that I did see on the video, I was like, okay, just got to stay maintained and trust myself. <laughs> Yeah, um, this year I had to start off different. Instead of doing more 400s, I had to establish a better base. So um, I've been, my coaches have been working with me. You know, I've had God in my life, and it's just, I've been going with the flow and take everything. Everything happens for a reason at the right time. That's just how I've been going on. Riven, you're in school already, aren't you? <laughs> so how does it feel to, to be enrolled at Oregon and already be up here? Um, it's, it feels good. Um, um, it was best, definitely a good way for me. Like coming to school early, I got to fill the track, do some workouts, heavy workouts on the track, get some air. So that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, well, right now my summer track coaches, so Devin Mitchell and Ashley Mitchell. But when I am here, Coach Johnson and Coach Powell help out as well. <laughs> yeah, just gotta trust them, trust myself, and go with the flow. <laughs> How is that um, getting ready through the spring when you're not in the usual high school meet? Uh, my coach actually did something different. She went to a lot of training camps for coaches and she actually had some workouts that I was like, I gotta do these in summer track and school track, you know. It was a little early, but it helps me later on for summer. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You talked about being here already and doing some workouts and that. How do you feel that helped you this weekend specifically? Um, it helped me because in Seattle, you know, being in this part of town, this other part of the country, the air is different than in Houston where it's humidity and hot. And um, I was able to develop my oxygen, get my breathing right with this type of weather, and that helped a lot. So how, so how huge do you think that's going to be in a couple weeks when you're back? Um, I think it's going to be good. It's a huge um, step up that I have against some of the other athletes that's coming from around the world. So um, I'm definitely going to use that to my advantage. <laughs> but unlike a lot of these athletes, you at school this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually had a midterms on Thursday. Midterms Thursday, and I have school on tomorrow. So, you know, just got to get with that athletics and academics and just work with that. Mm -hmm. you, beat the, you beat the midterms as well? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so I think so. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. It was an um, I had some family discussions course, and then I also had an online class for problem gambling. So <laughs> that went well as well. No. Thanks very much. I mean, do you look at what she did and, and, and kind of want to emulate what she was able to accomplish at Oregon? Definitely. Um, she's a really good runner, and um, I want to work harder. I want to be, I want to establish my own name. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to get to. Got to have the right mindset, right people, and um, I'm just trying to stay focused. Mm -hmm. You guys spoke about she, Did she go to Texas? I think she, went, she moved down to Texas. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, and then she did so good at the um, meet in California. She did really well. So I'm just glad I have some um, experienced coaches that's work with people that's like me as well. Who have been some people here that helped bridge, bridge the you know, coming transition, just coming here to UG? Anybody on the team? Um, yeah. Well, my roommates, Ariana Washington and Ashley Moore, you know, we each support each other. We um, stay on top of each other. And, you know, Coach Powell, all of the staff, and Coach Johnson as well, you know, his thing is get it, get there, get it done, and be done with it. And so execute and all. And um, he, everyone has kind of helped me. Even on the team, everyone's supportive on the team as well. And so, yeah. <laughs> when did school start? School started on June 23rd, so the day after I came from Brooks. <laughs> the three of you guys in that one house. That's a, that's a lot of talent, a lot of personality. Mm -hmm. Has it been a fun, fun situation for the three of you guys? Yeah, um, we we each support each other. You know, they're like, you're gonna be on the team, right? I'm like, I hope so. <laughs> so we each support each other, our parents, our family, and you know, our just track family here at Oregon. Everyone is great and supportive. You can have all like a wall for all your medals. <laughs> the three of you. I'm gonna try to send them off to my mom. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that a